The NBA recently released its finalists for the 2021 NBA Season Awards, and no surprise, Rudy Gobert and Ben Simmons were two of the three finalists for Defensive Player of the Year, along with Draymond Green. And no offense to Draymond, but let's be real, he may as well not be there because every person on this planet knows the award is going to either Gobert or Simmons. And I have been very vocal that I believe it should have gone to Ben Simmons this year, or should I say it should go to Ben Simmons this year as it hasn't been decided yet, because of the time he played with Embiid missing games and how he carried the Sixers defense. And there's a part of me that still believes Ben Simmons should win the award, but I gotta be completely honest with you guys. I might have been swayed to the side of believing in Rudy Gobert just a little bit. I mean, it hurts me to say as a Sixers fan, but... At the very least, at the very least, I will say, I'm not sure who I would vote for right now with a gun to my head. I'd probably still go Simmons because I like him more. You know, he is on my team and I'm biased. But I can't even be mad, not even a little bit, if Rudy Gobert wins the award because he is having an all-time great defensive season and it is infuriating to me how much this man gets underrated and overhated by the general NBA fan base. It is crazy. The takes that I am seeing out here, that Rudy Gobert is not the best player on the Utah Jazz, there are people who really think Donovan Mitchell is better than him, crazy. There are people who think this man is not a top five center in the NBA, that Nikola Vucevic should be over him in the top five centers discussion. Crazy. There is a dude out there, at least one person, and I know because I got into an argument with him in the comments the other day, who thinks that Rudy Gobert should not be a Defensive Player of the Year candidate, and the award should instead go to Miles freaking Turner. Miles Turner! I... I can't, I can't like scream right now as loudly as I want to because the rest of my family is in this house, but are you out of your mind? Miles Turner, you gotta be yanking my dick off if you're gonna try to tell me Miles Turner is a better defender than Rudy Gobert. Are you, and, and here's his logic, here's his logic. Miles Turner averages more blocks per game. Yeah. Because blocks make you a better defender. That's how, that's why Mark Eaton had the greatest defensive season in NBA history when he averaged five blocks a game that one time, okay? That's, that's how defense works, guys. It's only blocks. I, I want to rip my hair out, okay? I don't even particularly like Rudy Gobert that much, but I really feel bad for him because I think... And this is my honest opinion. Sorry this has been a long intro, but this is my honest opinion. Rudy Gobert is the most underrated player in the NBA today, and arguably might be the most underrated player in NBA history. That is how bad the slander for Rudy Gobert has gotten. The disrespect this man receives. This is a top 20 player in the NBA. The best player on the best team in the NBA and people act like he's not even top five at his position, that he's not even a top three candidate for Defensive Player of the Year. It absolutely boggles my mind. I'm so confused, and I just needed to make this video to freaking rant, really, because I can't believe how much disrespect goes to Rudy Gobert. It's absolutely crazy to me. Yeah, I know. He shut down the league with the coronavirus last year. Heard you der. It's so funny. I don't care. It happened a year ago. Please stop making this joke and stop acting like this man is actually some kind of scrub. Even on offense, he's not that terrible. He's still one of the best screen setters in the whole league. He averages 14 points and 14 rebounds a game on 68% field goal shooting. Okay? He's not some absolute trash player on offense. He's never going to be a great scorer or anything. He's not going to carry your offense. But that is more than good enough of an offensive player when you've got probably... Look, I, 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 look I'm just going to admit it. I'm just going to admit it. He's the best defender in the NBA right now. He really is. The man's on-off numbers are absolutely insane. And there's a guy, there's a YouTuber out there, if you haven't checked him out already, his name is Hoops Venue. You should absolutely go look at his channel. He's a newer NBA YouTuber. I think I've mentioned him in a previous video. I'm going to show you a clip from one of his recent videos where he analyzed Rudy Gobert because he says it perfectly. So let me just, let me just show you this clip. And the numbers further support this. 
The Jazz have a negative 8.5 relative defensive rating with Rudy Gobert on the floor, ranking as the fourth best defense in NBA history. That falls to a plus 3.9 with Rudy Gobert off the floor, dropping to 28th in the current NBA, and giving Rudy the biggest defensive net on offswing of all time. Now I'm not going to repost any more of his video because you really need to go and watch it for yourself, link in the description, but some other key points he makes is that the Utah Jazz have the best rim defense in the NBA this season, but that falls all the way to 29th in the NBA when Rudy Gobert is off the floor. And not only do they have the best rim defense, they also have the best three-point defense. What is the reason for this? It's because the perimeter players on the Jazz, who are mostly average to slightly below average defenders, yeah, you got Mike Conley in there, but for the most part, we're talking generally the whole team, not the greatest defensive team, especially on the perimeter. They can play very aggressive three-point defense, let guys get past them into the paint, and Rudy Gobert is there to clean up and to help the defense stay elite. So not only is Rudy Gobert maintaining this paint defense playing one-on-one -on -one against other centers, he is keeping this elite paint defense switching on to players who get past the perimeter and defending them in the paint. His paint presence is unreal. And in fact, the only other player in the NBA who I think is a comparable rim protector in terms of deterrence is Joel Embiid. And honestly, he doesn't work as well as Rudy Gobert for the simple reason that people really like to try and score on him because they don't like him very much. But the point still stands. Rudy Gobert is a phenomenal, phenomenal defender, having one of the greatest defensive seasons in NBA history. The Jazz go from the best defense in the league, fourth all time, to the 28th in the league with Rudy Gobert off the floor. That is absolutely absurd, and as much as I love Ben Simmons, and I would like for him to win this award, I just gotta be real. Rudy Gobert is the best defender in the NBA right now, and I'm pretty excited to see what he can do in the playoffs. I know we've seen him get exploited in the past, but you've also got to look into these matchups. He played against Nikola Jokic, who's arguably the best center in NBA history. Sorry, the best offensive, offensive center in NBA history. And yeah, Jokic went off on him, but who the hell in NBA history is going to stop Nikola Jokic? Very few people, if anyone. Then, he's also got exploited in two different years against the Houston Rockets, where the Rockets run a crap ton of pick and rolls, and they end up with Chris Paul and James Harden going one-on-one -on -one against Rudy Gobert. You've got one of the best scoring backcourts in NBA history, one of the specifically top 10, probably top 5 scorers in NBA history, in James Harden, going against Rudy Gobert. Wow, I'm shocked he couldn't handle it. What do, you, what do you want this man to do, okay? What do you want him to do? He can only do so much. And in this regular season, he has been absolutely unbelievable. He is, in my opinion, the clear, no contest by far. There's a big-ass gap between him and Donovan Mitchell as the best player on the Utah Jazz. He is a top 20 player in the NBA right now. Not quite top 15, but still top 20. A clear top five center, and I would go as far as to say he's probably number three right now behind Embiid and behind Jokic. He is absolutely an all-NBA level player this season. If you don't have him on your all-NBA team, you do not know basketball. And lastly, he really should win the Defensive Player of the Year. I'm sorry, Ben. I want you to win, and I'll be happy if you do win. But if I'm being 100% honest... It should go to Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert is the Defensive Player of the Year this season, and he is easily, in my opinion, the most underrated player in the NBA right now.